Hello, this is Hark the Bee in and I am here with SCP one one one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And if not, that's fine. It shouldn't be long anyway. I have a number, SCP-111. Object class safe. All specimens of SCP-111 are in captivity or housed at site 19, blank wing, in a 5 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter plexiglass glass enclosure containing a temperate forest habitat. Transplanted from its natural surroundings. Habitat temperature will be maintained at 30 degrees Celsius. Feeding is to take place weekly by personnel placing 3 kilograms of iceberg lettuce into the containment chamber. Water is to be supplied by an automatic missing system which regulates humidity levels at 50%, both for water and re water required by SCP-111 and to prevent fires. In event of SCP-111, specimens ready for now to collect all eggs and transport them to the biological studies wing for freezing. Hmm. <sighs> Description: SCP-111 is an apparently artificial species of invertebrate, a vaguely resembling snails. Adult specimens of SCP-111 are approximately 20 centimeters in length, 12 centimeters in width, and 15 centimeters in height. Although exact size differs slightly between specimens, SCP-111 species specimens differ from ordinary snails in that they have a warm blood metabolism. Complex eyes, eyes, small horns consisting of uh, cartilage ridged tentacles, apparently increased intelligence personnel are requested to test log blank for examples, and a complete vertebrae type jaw structure. Uh, as well, specimens lay eggs possessing hardened shells. Most abnormally, SCP 111 specimens possess small hollow sacs below their lower jaws containing methane formed um, digestive byproducts. A series of that sponge along the inside of the trachea serves as a lighter, igniting certain methane as a specimen exhales, blowing a small jet of flame from its mouth. Said fire breathing generally occurs in event of stress or anger, although it is not apparently used deliberately for destruction but rather as a warning. This is presumably due to its limited size of methane sacs, which, which limits specimen SCP-111 specimens in the amount of fire they can excel at a time, requiring both time and starch-rich fuel food to refuel. SCP-111's behavior is inconsistent with that of ordinary small snails, including whistling, hooting, vocalizations easily audible to humans, high intelligence and seen touch as there's that expunge and parents caring for their young. Hazards have been observed imprinting on their parents and other members of their own species or researchers. This was going to be a deliberate trait based on document 111A as it means that hatchings imprint upon owners. History On an unknown date, a package containing 12 SCP-111 eggs in document 111A was mailed to that expunge. A Foundation Front Organization. Mobile Task Force Alpha 4 have, been, have proven unable to locate the sender of said package. Document 111A. New from Wondertainment, Dragon Snails, the perfect egg pet for the, the fantasy loving child. Care and hatching instructions. Having read the document, take the eggs out of the, the box. Be careful, Dragon Snail TM. Eggs are fragile. Put the eggs in a warm, safe place and wait 7 to 8 days. Hold your newly hatched dragon snails so they get a good look at you and think you're their mommy. Enjoy your new pet dragon snails, TM. To feed your dragon snail, also give your new little friend some raw veggies, lettuce, brussels sprouts, beans, and any sort of, of salad stuff you don't want. Rubber just give them water, a small glass each, once a day. For your enjoyment, dragon snails come in 6 types. Read them for your unique pets. Types 1. Slimy bellies. Adorable. Or a. Okay.
Okay, that's annoying. Anyway, adorable and oozy little fellas with awesome fire engine red colored skin, little black horns and belly, and a speckled tan shell. Beautiful robin's egg, egg flute. Oh, oh, eggs. Two ooze drakes, inquisitive little creatures with neat banana colored skin, curly horns, and striped of shells, pale tan eggs like a chicken. Gooey verns. Oh, it's gooey verns. Dark blue gray skin, flattened shells, and a bumpy horn head make gooey verns look like tiny sea monsters. Eggs are a fantastic glassy green color. 4. Blobworms. Green and gold stripes, pointy shells, and a single horn, not to mention fuzzy tails. Make blobworms wonderful pets. Eggs are tan with a silver tint. <laughs> Number 5. Glow Drakes. New from Dr. Wondertainment. These little fellows may look like blue blood. Blue or uh, black slimy bellies until they light up. That's right, glow drakes glow in the dark. Eggs are golden color with little red dots. Number six, gunk wyverns. Chubby green skinned dome shelled gunk wyverns make great pets. Eggs are transparent so you can see the baby dragon snail inside. Parents will notice, as Dr. Wondertainment's dragon cells are fire, they have been known to cause house fires. For maximum playtime, fun, and safety, it's recommended that fire extinguishers be kept handy. Despite this, Dr. Wondertainment is not legally, morally, or financially responsible for any injuries, death, or property damage resulting from the unsafe use of dragon cells or any other Dr. Wondertainment products. By reading this document and incubating your dragon snail eggs, you agree to all side terms and forfeit your rights to lawsuits, organized ball, boycotts, protests, honor duels, etc. I mean, to be fair, you will never or, or be able to forfeit your right to a lawsuit, organized boycott, or or protest. And I think that honor duels are long, long, long dead as uh, we don't really do that anymore. Enjoy your purchase! That was SCP-111. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If not, then you just wasted 8 minutes listening to me talk about dragon worms. Tomorrow, I hope to read to you something very interesting. I'll see if I can find it first. Until then, goodbye.